as he deceived the troops at Al-Assad Air Force Base yesterday with the tantalizing prospect that some of them might not have to risk being killed and might get instead to go home. Mr. Bush probably did not know that with his own words he had already been proved to be a liar, that he had been lying, is lying, will be lying about Iraq. He presumably did not know that there had already appeared those damning experts from Robert Draper's book, Dead Certain. I'm playing for October, November, Mr. Bush said to Draper. That evidently is the time during which he thinks he can sell us the real plan, which is, to quote him, to get us in a position where the presidential candidates will become comfortable about sustaining a presence, comfortable, that is, with saying about Iraq, again quoting the president, stay longer. And there it is, sir, we've caught you. Your goal is not to bring some troops home, maybe, if we let you have your way now. Your goal is not to set the stage for eventual withdrawal. You are, to use your own disrespectful, tone-deaf word, playing at getting the next Republican nominee to agree to jump into this bottomless pit with you and take us into it with him as we stay in Iraq for another year and another and another and anon. Everything you said about Iraq yesterday and everything you will say is a deception for the purpose of this one cynical, unacceptable, brutal goal, perpetuating this war indefinitely. War today, war tomorrow, war forever. And you are playing at it. Playing! A man with any self-respect having inadvertently revealed such an evil secret would have already resigned and fled the country. You